Sheep and Jungle. The habitats within are rich with life. Although diverse, these different habitats are dominated by one type of lizard, the Anonis lizard. So how have these lizards managed to become the true kings of the jungle? Thirty-five million years ago, a South American species of lizard arrived at Cuba's shoreline. The Anolis lizard. Or Anole. The first Anoles quickly colonised the island, where they were greeted with an environment rich in new habitats and life. There were few predators present, allowing the anoles to adapt more easily to these new habitats. Today there are over 60 species living in every corner of the rainforest, from the very top of the forest canopy, to the leaves on the trees. In the streams and rivers, and to the ground, amongst the bushes. So what are the adaptations that have allowed the anoles to become so successful? Brown anoles live on tree trunks and are extremely quick movers. This is due to their large, powerful back legs. This adaptation makes catching fast moving prey possible. Living on wide tree trunks exposes brown anoles to predators. This type of habitat has therefore influenced the evolution of large hind legs, enabling them to make a quick escape when threatened. Living amongst the branches lays a twig anole. Twigs require more balance and control to live on than trunks, so their legs have evolved to be shorter and closer to their body. Instead of speed, Twig anoles rely on camouflage and stealth to hunt their prey. But another master of disguise has the same idea.
a more manageable size prey is in the sights of this lizard. In this case, small eggs reap big rewards. As well as living on the trunks and branches of trees, anoles can also be found living alongside the many streams and rivers that flow through the jungle. The aquatic anole. Their environment is mainly horizontal and close to the ground. This has resulted in them having small toe pads with little grip to hold onto surfaces. If footing is lost, then there isn't far to fall. High up in the canopy, the consequences of falling are a lot more severe. The anole that lives up here has to be a lot more careful when on the move. The largest of Cuba's anolis lizards. The western giant anole. This has extremely large topaz for its size. On the bottom of their toe pads are many ridges that tightly grip onto surfaces. These large toe pads allow for quick, safe movement amongst the treetops, essential for when a displaying intruder is present. Regardless of their habitat, jungle animals have a common problem. Being able to see each other through the forest. For many animals, being brightly coloured provides the answer to this. The anoles are no different. Although well camouflaged, they, like the Cuban green anole, have a common adaptation to make their presence known to other anoles. The dewlap. This colourful pouch of throat skin can be used to communicate to other anoles over great distances. One of the dewlap's specific functions is to act as a warning to rivals. Male Buesito anoles are notoriously territorial.
this frenzy of activity has aroused a predator. A racer snake. Time to let this serpent know it's been spotted. Another function of the remarkable Dewlap. <coughs> Anoles living in the treetops look completely different to those living close to the ground. This is because they have adapted to the many jungle habitats which in turn has helped new species to evolve. This adaptation has also occurred on Cuba's neighbouring islands, so much so that there are over 300 anole species in the Caribbean. Making the Anolis lizard one of the planet's most diverse and evolutionally significant animals. Okay. 